Hey, what's up? Scoring is the last step before baking, so it's one of the most important part of bread making. A nice confident score sometimes is a game changer, especially if you are dealing with poor shaping or an overproof dough. We score breads to let them rise the way we want, to control the expansion. By cutting the dough, we create a weaker spot and let them to rise from that part. Otherwise, it's not going to find the space to expand and it's going to burst up ugly and unevenly. So we're not going to get maximum oven spring, neither that beautiful ear we love to see on our bread. But how the way you score gonna affect your bread? How to score a sourdough bread properly? That's what we are going to find out together. We're gonna score multiple butar shaped sourdough bread and find the best scoring technique. Also, I'm gonna show you few scoring methods for bowl shaped sourdough bread too. But before that, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe my channel. Of course, if you like this kind of videos. So let's get into this, shall we? First thing first, you need some tools to score your bread. Buy one of this sharp razor and scoring would be much more pleasant. If you promise you won't cut yourself, you can just use the blade. It's handy to score baguette. And your last option is a sharp bread knife. Let's score some batard shaped sourdough bread. Think about your movement, where you want to score. Start from here to there. The angle is 45 degrees. For the second bread, we're gonna do the same. But this time, after five minutes of baking, we're gonna take it out and re-score it. This technique called five minute score. This is the first bread, beautiful, with simple scoring, with a quite nice ear. And this is the second one that we use five minute score technique. Gorgeous ear on bread, very impressive. I mean, from the look, this one looked better, but both are fine to me. Let's see if there is a major difference with the crumbs. This is the first bread. A very nice crumb. And this is the one we re-score it. This one also has a beautiful crumb. But I don't see any major difference. Do you see any? Again, this is the first one. Simple scoring. And this is the one we re-score it. Tell me in the comment section if you see any major difference. Let's continue scoring. If the dough holds its shape, you know that you are in right place. Otherwise, scoring not gonna help you. This time, I'm gonna give it a simple score again. But I'm gonna go a little deeper on the edge of my score. And I wish it helps me to get a nice ear. For the second dough, I'm going to use my bread knife and give it one deep confidence and quick score. I ruined it. I'm sorry, my bread knife wasn't that sharp. But don't worry, we can save this one with 5 minute score technique. And that's how re-scoring can help you. Now you know. Let's continue. For this one, I'm going to use some bread art to show you how you can make it a little bit more gorgeous. Again, think about your movement before you're going to score it, start to finish. What if we don't score quickly and confidently? I saw some home bakers score like this. They shake their blade while they are scoring, in order to prevent sticking to the dough. Nothing wrong with it. You can always rescore and go a little deeper on the edge. Hopefully we can get a nice ear on this one too. I saw they lift up the edge like this. And for second though, again I'm gonna do a quick confidence score. Let's see what is the difference. This is my confident quick score. 
Not bad. Cause the whole wheat rise little less than normal bread. And this is the one we rescore and make it little deeper. Interesting. That's how you get a nice ear on your bread. Beautiful. Again, let's see what is the difference between crumbs. Is there any major difference? Oh my god, a simple score technique give me a beautiful crumb. I didn't expect this one. And the one with more oven spring. Beautiful. Again, I don't see any major difference. Both are gorgeous to me. Do you see any difference? As I promised, I'm going to show you few scoring for bull-shaped sourdough bread too. And for a straight cut, you won't have any problem with bread knife. Now you know how to use bread knife. Check it out. Isn't beautiful? And this is one of my favorite scoring. But if you want to impress someone, score like this. Again, be my guest and trim the missing parts. Stunning, right? And the winner scoring method gonna be this one. No matter your experience baker and score confidently or not. As long as you go a little deeper at the edge and lift it up, you're gonna get a nice ear on your bread every single time. When you bake from open baking, sometimes 5 minutes score save your poor scoring or an overproof dough. Keep baking and subscribe my channel.